Hot take. This is one of the best Halloween sequels to date, and probably what the series should have been originally, an anthology. Dark, atmospheric, slow burn, with a unique premise, and a gut punch of a twist ending. There are some schlock in places that may have been executed better and modernized, but that cheese is arguably part of the appeal. Aside from the poorly implemented romance, pointless sex, and random nudity. It doesn't belong in here at all. It feels tacked on for selling tickets. There's decent performances, competent direction, and unique cinematography while honoring the original Halloween in several places. It all really elevates this. Carpenter's score is also great as always. I also can't help but compare the Silver Shamrock commercial with the I'd buy that for a dollar from Robocop, but in a good way. It is a darn shame that the anthology got scrapped after this got poor reception. People just wanted Michael Myers, but I hope that idea gets brought back one day. I am happy that this has found new life and cult status. For what it was trying to do, it really sticks with you and mostly by showing restraint in what it shows or chooses not to show. I wish so bad that we get a follow up, but I found a really cool fan written sequel that goes where it should after this crazy ending. And if you ignore that they watched parts of the original Halloween in this, I've come up with my own fan theory in regards to how this connects to Halloween 1 to 2, and uh, it's, it's pretty fun. I don't have enough to be able to say it, but it has to do with the cult of Thorn and all of that. There are some lingering questions with the ambiguity that I wish were answered, such as Ellie and others, but it was bold to leave it where it was. Tom Atkins is optimistic about the ending, whereas the novelization is very clear about the darkness, and so is that fan written follow up. Side note, did this inspire the Terminator? Serious question. With those men in black kind of garbs and the way that they move and them being robots and stuff, it, there's a lot of similarities there. Also, this feels like arguably the first A24 film ever made given the ending. If you know, you know. I give Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, 4 out of 5 stars. What can I say? I enjoyed it. I'm not a huge horror fan, so when they surprise me, or move me, or shock me in ways that make me remember them, I'm gonna like it. What did you think of Season of the Witch? Should Halloween be an anthology series? Should they have just stuck with Michael Myers? And should they just stick with him going forward? Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Letterboxd, or see some of my written reviews on ViralHair.com. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, always look for the good.